Hello, my name is Kevork Murad. First of all, I would love to thank Arts Transcending Borders, Cantor Art Gallery, and College of the Holy Cross for making this possible and inviting me to create this project. Hopefully, you can come and see this in person. I'm here to present and show you how I create all this in a simpler and a straightforward way. So this technique is based on monotype, but I wanted to share when I do the simple way, which is I take the retarder and acrylic. So I'm not using a traditional uh, paint or ink for printing. And this is the way I do. You can do anything you want, but if you want to kind of learn from my technique, this is the way I like to share. So first of all, when I apply this, just for uh, not to let the paint dry fast, and it's a regular acrylic, and I apply this. Uh, what's interesting about this, this technique, it, it goes into the reverse idea. You cover the paint fully, and then you take the paint off, which is almost like sculpting, sculpture. Applying the paint, and you could you could be expert like like from the art store get some kind of fancy fancy tools, but also if you're in you know home and you're not uh, leaving your place and you don't have access to fancy stuff, you can use believe it or not, just plastic knife and spoon. So I'm gonna try to do it with a spoon and see how we can go. And actually, the spoon has this beautiful kind of a serrated edge can can just give you this beautiful lines and the other side you can do even more so what's interesting about the monotype if you don't feel comfortable in what you did you can start all over again before printing it and one thing I like to share with you you need to be very clear what you want to present or what you want to create. So if it's figure, you need to think about figures, not to copy an image or think about, oh, you want to do anatomy of this. This is going to be spontaneous and uh, free strokes. And the result should be this, almost like a hand, handwritten uh, letter, signature. So we start again, taking the knife and I want to create something like figures and like sculpture. I'm especially specifically doing it several times so for you to understand that there's nothing wrong or right. You can try it several times until you feel comfortable in printing. So once you're comfortable in the shape and the form, it doesn't hurt to make it neat and clean borders.
So it depends if you like it to be darker or lighter. So if you want to, to print to look darker, you can spray water. Or if you like to, to show all the brush strokes, it very carefully, you can place the paper. And this paper is hot press. I usually use hot press because the surface is very smooth. And you can use roller, hard roller or soft roller. Or again, if you don't have access to fancy stuff, you can use fabric very gently. So what I do usually, I take my tool, I have a fine tool that I created many years ago. I do some more refined lines on top of it, but it's not important. But this is a technique and I think it's simple. Anyone can do it. Hopefully you share your work with me. Thank you very much. Hopefully to see you in person.